What is the strangest thing a person could be thankful for? Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study, 180 seconds of pure Bible study, three minutes, Monday through Friday. Thanks for participating. Thanks for sharing it with your friends. We certainly do appreciate that very, very much. Now, <clears throat> I ask the question, what's the strangest thing you can be thankful for? We're talking about the thankfulness of Jesus. I want you to join me in Matthew chapter 11, beginning at verse number 25. We're going to read down a ways, and we're going to stop in the midst of this to point something out, okay? Verse 25, at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father. So there's our idea. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. That's really strange. In other words, that some people are just not going to get it. He's thankful for that. Look at verse 26. Even so, Father, so you it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son and the one who, to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Now, verse number 28, he's going to talk about the idea that you don't have to be a know-it-all. You don't have to be a Ph.D. in religion to come to Jesus. He's saying the simple. As a matter of fact, I, let me just share this with you real quick, and then we'll read 28 and 29. I don't know who I got this from, so I apologize for not being able to give them credit. It is possible to have a large amount of geological information about the rocks and to know nothing about the rock of ages. It's possible to know about light and fiber optics and how to measure light and know nothing about the light of the world. You know, we can know all about the planets and the stars and all those things and not know anything about the bright and morning star. But guess what? We can know Jesus. And listen to Jesus' invitation. Verse 28, come to me. All you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He's inviting you to have a relationship with you, to know him and to serve him. And guess what? It's not an invitation just for the know-it-alls, but for those who will submit and obey. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.